What is up YouTube? I'm back again with another video. So, because Halloween is coming up and I've kind of wanted to do more fire service related videos, I figured why not take the opportunity to show you guys my uh, emergency from the TV show, uh, paramedic uniform or costume, whatever you want to call it. Um, now in one of the, the collector groups I'm in for this TV show, lately there's been a lot of discussion about their uniform so I figured there's no YouTube video out there showing you uh, a decent tutorial of it so without further ado let's go ahead alright so to start off on the top the most iconic thing about probably about them is their helmets they always have their helmets now in the TV show they used the MSA top guard that's what this one is as you can see I have a replica shield on there LA County 51 and then it has some reflective markings from when it was an actual fire helmet um, that are not original to the show I just I can't remove those they're they're stuck on there pretty good um, and the chin strap is different they had a cotton nylon chin strap which had a uh, a spring clip not like this leather and then its liner was uh, a little bit different too, but uh, you can get replacement suspensions for these things now um, if you have to. You will notice a metal D-ring. This is the early style. Later on they changed it to plastic. They used both styles in the TV show. Now later on they also did change from the paramedics, uh, had a green 51. And then later on they had the green 51 and paramedic stickers here. As you can see I do not have those. Over here I do have a real LA County 51 or LA County Station 29 helmet. Um, from what I can tell only the LA County ones I've ever seen had those two dots on the sides. Which are like weird metal snaps. I don't know what that goes to. And then they also had different uh, chin strap. Uh, connectors too and a weird liner that I haven't seen like this one yet this is a real like I said LA County fireman's helmet from the era of emergency its uh, shield is made out of flonic and then the entire sheet is white um, the entire shield is white reflective uh, decal or sticker and then the put out the the blue overlay with the letters already cut out which I think is interesting and then it's just black and then um, uh, the red numbers indicate that this was a ladder company and then of course it has its metal D-ring um, but yeah that's uh, just a very thin sheet of flonic tile that you can get and have cut to the size I'm going to try and make reproductions of these things. But that's that one. Just threw that in there for the video. And then I also have a blank one. Some of them will come with shield clips. I don't think either of these two do. And this one had the plastic D-ring. But it has since broken off. Alright. So there's helmets. Like I said, they use the MSA Top Guard the entire time. You can find these on eBay. You're going to be spending, I'd say, about a hundred bucks for them. Um, and uh, the helmet shields, these reproduction ones, are on eBay for about twenty-five, thirty dollars. Moving down to the blue shirt, they used Concor. Uh, that's a man shirt uniform manufacturer. Um, uniform shirts, and that's what they looked like you can see here's a stock photo um, I believe that this photo is almost sun bleached with the light I mean not the photo itself but when like the uh, exposure is high so their shirts look lighter than this uh, I think they should be darker or at least this one should be um, but all this is is just a Dickies work shirt short sleeve with that kind of style pocket just like that they had and um, on your right side 
you had your name tag. This one is Johnny's. He's my favorite of the two. And then above, up above them, they actually had a paramedic pin. And this is the emblem that was on the pin. Here's a vintage sticker. I have no clue where it came from. I just got it on eBay. And that's what that tiny pin looked like. That was something that actually LA County paramedics had. So those pins are very, very rare. Um, I've never seen one for sale. I've only seen one or two reproductions. This one is just a look alike. It, all it says is Rescue Squad. It would be debatably more accurate to just go without it. And then, of course, you got your reproduction badge. County of Los Angeles Fire Department Fireman 330. Johnny Gage was 330. Android DeSoto was Fire, fire Fireman Badge 174. And then... Johnny also used this exact style of green bit click pin throughout the entire show. These ones are very hard to find as well. I got lucky and I have two of them, except one is missing that silver ring. You can see it there. And while Roy typically carried one of those uh, black government pens that you can still find on the market. This shirt is very accurate. The only thing that really is inaccurate about it is its color is a little off and its buttons should be silver. You can replace those with the Air Force lightweight blue shirts buttons and uh, instead of these ones. Of course, later on in the show, they also did have paramedic patches. That's what this patch is here. It would go on the left sleeve like that. I just haven't sewn it on yet. And then moving down to the belt, here is an actual LA County Fireman belt buckle. This is the exact style that they had. It's silver. Sometimes you'll find them in gold. From what I understand, gold were officers. Correct me if I'm wrong, if there's any LA County Firemen watching this. And then they had a special buckle too. So the buckle is more or less just for show, as you guys can see. So. Here's an actual belt and the belt clip that you would have for it. You can buy these from the firestore.com. They also have the buckle, well the modern style that just says LAFD diagonal except you have to prove employment that you're with the LAFD which I think a small percentage of us are. I'm not, so I had to get lucky, and I found this buckle online on eBay. eBay is your best bet for all this original stuff, honestly, because there's just no other place to get it that I know of. And then, moving down, you got your blue, navy blue pants, four pockets, two butt pockets, and then two side pockets, zipper fly, these are dickies. The original ones were work right, if I remember correctly, and those were fire retardant. The real LA County duty wear, station wear pants or uniforms were fire retardant. And then, um, of course, just black shoes. It is currently unknown as to what actual boots were worn in the show. Uh, these look very similar. These are my. I think they're the Bates, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they're the Bates um, with the Vibram sole. These are just my uh, uh, junior Air Force ROTC shoes from high school that work really nicely. But uh, they're not very comfortable, so I'll typically roll with just a normal pair of black boots. These are Those are military boots. I'll just polish them up a little bit better and then roll that. Um, as for holsters, the EMS holsters that they wore. So I have four styles. Um, at the beginning of the show, they had kind that did not have a knife holder. It had uh, forceps, shears, pen light, and that was it. This one is made by Tex Shoemaker and Sons, model 98. So this one holds two shears, or it has spots for two shears and then a pen light. So it's it's very, very close to the style that they had in the show. Not the exact style, but very, very close. 
This one has a belt loop. This one has a belt clip. The ones in the show were bigger and they also had a, a paddle on the back. And I believe that those ones are made by a company called DUDA or Duda. And then later on, they added on the show the kind with the knife holder. So here's this one. Again, it's made by Tech Shoemaker and Sons 98S. It's got your two spots for your shears, your pen light, and an added knife holder. And that's what this one is too. Except it's got a way bigger knife holder. But it's the same model, so I don't know if that's just a misproduction or what. So that's a style very similar to what they had in the show. Um, obviously nobody knows exactly the exact style or company that made them. I, that's just speculations that it was Duda, because uh, I'd seen a picture of one, and that's what it was stamped. And then uh, they also wore occasionally blue jackets, too. Now, here is a red cap work jacket with a quilted liner, not removable, but uh, it's got a non elastic waist, just a zipper opener zipper front, two slanted pockets, a shoulder pocket, and button cuffs. This is very, very close to one that they had in the show. The one that they had in the show was made by uh, Elbico Transcon FR, and those ones were fire retardant too. Um, I think that company just recently stopped making them. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they did. So, overall... That's a good stand-in of what their uniforms would have looked like. Oh, and then of course at the, they also did wear a uh, V-neck, white V-neck under their uniform shirts. Um, you're probably not going to be able to get a belt, so my recommendation as a stand-in would be this Garrison belt. It's just a plain black leather black leather belt with a uh, silver buckle. I know it's not a very good stand-in, but the, it, just finding the style is just very hard. And then here's my other extra stuff. Got Roy DeSoto name tag and Roy DeSoto badge. And then my spare bit click that I was telling you about. Now, if you want to get uh, other accessories, like the drug kit, like this one, this is the old pal uh, PF2000. They used in the show the old pal PF3300 uh, as their drug box. So, not quite the same as this, but very, very similar. Of course, it's got some medical tape, CPR mask, 4x4s, band aids, prep pads, roller bandage, gloves, stethoscope. Um, but like I said, that's very, very similar to what they carried on the show. And then if you want to get really into it, here is the exact SCBA that they had. This is the MSA 401. This did appear in my last video. And then here's their spanner wrench that hung off their turnout coats. Which the company that was selling these just recently stopped selling them. Stamped Desco. This thing was brand new. So, yeah. By the way, I don't have any of their turnout, go turnout gear. But, um... They did use Lion Bodyguard turnout gear, so if you could find any old tan or khaki Lion Bodyguard turnout gear, that's basically what they had. So, Anyways guys, that is an overview of what they had. I'm going to go ahead and end the video because I want to keep it under 15 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something new. If you guys have any questions, just go ahead and let me know. And as always, have a nice day. Also, I'll probably uh, throw all this stuff on for a separate video. So, anyways, guys, that is it. See you guys on the next one.